Right, today, I've been out for a drive already, warmed the car up, so it's not completely unbearable in here. But I'm gonna be showing you how to remove this part. You might have broken it, you might wanna get behind the lens, get some dirt out. Um, I've seen some lenses in some pretty bad um, states with loads of scratches all over them. I don't know if you can polish them out or what, but you might wanna remove it to get to them or just replace it with a new one. You might wanna paint it, wrap it, dip it, whatever you're doing. Um, but yeah, so rather than sort of talk, I'm gonna try and do it as quick as possible. Rather than talk for every little bit, I'm gonna try and fast forward through me actually doing it. This part, I usually right hand behind there, pop that out with my thumb under there. Fascia, this is a standard fascia, this part here, all I've had is an aftermarket bit uh, bonded, filled, blended, and there's plates bonded onto the actual fascia that hold that um, hold it onto the radio on the back, so the screws, but that's the only difference between mine and the standard one. But you still do the same, pull from that end, rather, don't try and like pry it round, pull it from that end, trying to pull it square all the way along, get to here, and then there's more tabs here, and then there's another torque screw there, they're T30 parts either side of this. And then we'll get to the bit, um, there's a connection on the back here at the top left, and then at the bottom, the bit that holds the steering wheel lever onto the bottom, two little clips, pry the ends down, keeping the pins square at the top, and then they come out, easy enough. So we'll get started with this. Like I said, I'll just right hand thumb under there, there's a little tab here, tab there, sometimes the metal plates come with the um, panel, no they stayed on this time, look, them two, sometimes they come off, try and do this one handed little tab when it there you go little tab on the back pull that bit up I just slide the buttons off that cable I've done this a couple of times that cable is quite rigid it does just hang there but even if it does it only drops just behind you can get it with like tweezers or something so that's that one and that's the torque screw on the left there T30 bit and now I'll do this one Like I said, that would usually come off, but I've got screws there holding it onto the radio. There's my face right away, and there's your other T-photo tool screw on that tab on the left, that tab on the right, and then just want to get in there, pull it out somewhere square, and then you'll be able to get to the connection. Keep the little, um, it's, like, it's like just a really long bit of plastic with holes to catch the little tabs on the bottom of here. And then two little clips, one on each end, they just snap into place. And then the ends is very flexible, it's very thin, which I know it sounds like it might be worse, but it makes it easier. It's very flexible on the ends to get in this long gap here. You can sort of bend it around that shape around there when you put it back in. And the same around here, sort of bends from the bottom along. You can tuck it in there and then you're done. So I'm going to get that out now and then go inside. Mess around taking it apart, do the fiddly bit. And ignore, that's another thing, ignore the dial clusters for now. I've changed the needles to white, got rid of the red. I don't know if you can, yeah, you can sort of tell. Change that to white. Um, still got to mess around with the LCD a bit more. Still got to mess around with the needles. And then we'll be somewhere near, but I'm not quite happy with that, but that's a whole other video in itself. Got the two screws out, so now just keep it sort of square. That's that, and then these tabs, you'll feel them sort of round the end. Once you've got up a little bit, just follow the lever around. Pop that one off. Again, start from the end. And then we're up, and then you will save these, I hope you can see it on the these little um, little spiky little tab bits, there's seven of them. And 
when you put it back in, what you want to do is grab the, I'll, I'll show you, hold on. So there's a connection around the back. You want to pull that red tab, is on a hinge here, follows it sort of back. And as you push that round, you'll see the connection sort of push itself out, it sort of hooks round. So that's that out of the way. Then it might be a bit easier when I put it back in. So there's the holes for the little spikes on the top. There's these two tabs. And then you can see it's a lot longer than the gap you've got. It bends there. I don't know if you can see anything. But it bends there. You'll see when you, you get a feel for it. And very flexible. And then what you want to do when you put it back in is sort of pinch it from both sides so it's up at the middle like that get this middle one in first and then just slowly sort of try and push up and fold it outwards keeping it in and then the tabs just find their own places you get these parts push them right down tuck them in and then that's it back in but for now i'm uh, gonna go inside do this bit in the warm before it starts to cool down too much in the car well we're good this bit is a lot easier if you've got a second pair of hands to help you there's eight screws all together. The first six, they're not too bad to get to. You got one there, and it's mirrored on the other side where the tabs where the T. Ah, at this point, I got it wrong in the card. They're not T30, they're T25, the bits to take this off. And these bits are T10, these smaller ones. Then you got this one here, again mirrored at the top, then those two. So there's your first six. And then your other two still come from the back, but they're behind here. You need to take your actual dial cluster out to get to those two if you want to take this apart from your lens but first this bit I'm, I'm gonna it's gonna look like I'm just I've, I've done this I don't know six seven times where I've been messing around with the cards and the LEDs uh, messing around with the needles just back and forth messing around but I ain't quite got it right yet and I still haven't found a way this is such like rigid plastic you've got one tab there again mirrored at the bottom three and nine o'clock under each of these tabs, then one at the top. And what I found is you try and get one somewhere near and it doesn't want to know. You can get it out, pry it, and then you try and get that one. And then there's just not enough movement to pull this out and you end up, they just keep popping back in as you try and work your way around. So it looks a bit like I'm, don't know what I'm doing. And well, I don't. But what I've got is all my screwdriver bits here, and I'll try and get one as close to it as I can. Then just leave it in there. Just hold it off that little bit. And so this is just going to be as I go. So there, we're up to there, still got the lenses in. So if this is all you want to do, say you've broken this, or I don't know how you break it, but <laughs> say you've broken that, or you just want to place this part with the lenses, this is where you stop. Or you want to mess around with your cards, you can carry on, but like I said, that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother video. I ain't got patience to do that one, yeah. But now, that's to get to those bottom two there, so you've got the eight. The six that you can see from the top before you take that part out, then these two. So that's how you get to the back of your lenses, clean them. Um, I, I wouldn't suggest, I don't know what to suggest to clean them with. Uh, I think it's quite a delicate plastic. I'd probably give that a Google, but mine are all right. So I'm just gonna take the lenses off and put it on the new one that I've had dipped. And these are the T10 part. Just... 
screws all the same length on this. So there's your lenses. I'm gonna knock dirty them up. There's my old one. Here's the one I've had dipped. I have forged carbon surround and then where that bit, I kept that still forged carbon under there because the lights under there, they don't reflect the same angle. Like you sit way, you know, you see somewhere like that and you just don't see them. Whereas in there, had that done in satin black to stop the glare. But yeah, that's what I've gone for anyway. Same as the previous bits I've had done on the car. So now I'm just gonna put the glass back in. Um, perspex rather. So there's the eight screws back in. Just gotta drop the cluster back in now. Well, there's them um, two white tabs at the front, then those two down there, just to locate those little grooves. Then you drop it back in. So, so now I'm going to go get it back in the car, see what it looks like. Right, we're back in the car. I'm going to try and sort of do this. I can't really put the phone anywhere and show you with both hands. I'm trying to show one handed. So, there's the holes, there's the tabs, and then there's the plastic on the back. It bends down at the ends and it fits the shape of these gaps you do, this is going to be more of I can sit here and try and explain it but it's one of the things you just got to do it and feel so it slides in and out of there same that side so dead, dead flexible I think you'll have a job to break it what I'm going to try and do is plug it in first Get it and then, oh wait, do I plug it? Yeah, plug it in first, sit it down in there. And then what I find is if you're struggling to sort of see or get anywhere from the front, there's enough room to get your hand down the back and pull this up and snap these tabs, these two ones into position. And then from the front is where you can get to your leather and the ends where it's bent round to push it back into those little slots there. Just, well no that one has really got to start that's just that's just where it sits back there but yeah sorry so i'll try and get the camera the best i can but it's like i say it is going to be one of those things you just got to go at i've zoomed in a little bit to see if that will help and again that just goes from the bottom up to the back here and as you pull it, you'll feel it sort of drag the connector back in till it clicks. Find the middle one.
find them. Looks like the top is clicking. Once you're happy with the fitment around the lever, I mean, I did just tip the camera, but hopefully you saw just that. You can just, you just feel it, it just clicks into place. Like I said, go from the inside out and you can't get it wrong. You can't get the wrong hole or anything in there. Make sure the lever's tucked back. There you go, sorted. So now what you've got to do is get the 225 T20, T25 screws back in. And then the fascia, I'm gonna mess around with mine. Like I showed with the radio. So we're at the point where it would be with a standard one. Screwed my radio onto there. So it sort of leans back a bit with the car, it doesn't sit level, but. let it settle and sort of find the tabs yeah, so that's the main bit back in and then all you've got is the control bit on the other side wires dropped us down I say it's quite a rigid wire so it does just stay literally there one-handed but I don't know if I'm gonna get it back together one-handed no it failed two hands push that until it clicks and then you got those two metal clips in there sometimes they do come out I've had this out quite a few times when I've painted it I think I've wrapped it three four times sometimes they come out and stay on here but they're loose on here, so they better just take it. If you're going to put this down in your footwell or something, I'll take them off of there, push them back into here. But you can see them easy enough, just get the top one somewhere near, it. then the bottom one, just rock it, let it find its seat. And sorted. So that's that. Like I say, the fascias there just pop off. Then you come to here, you got the T25 either side, then T10s on the back. And, um, but yeah, sorted. So I'm going to give mine a bit of a clean up now. But I'm happy with that. That's nice, I like that. It's coming along. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to keep the design. I might mess around a little bit more, get some new cards. I've got a lot of messing around to do with the LCD. That's not going to be as easy as I thought. Um, the LEDs changed behind already to white. But like I said, it's not coming through properly. Um, I've got to mess around with the perspex on the back of the actual needles. Although I've painted the front of them white, I've got to mess around with the back that I pried off. Um, but yeah, for now, I mean, that's the main bit I look at in the car when I'm driving. So I'm well happy with that. That looks nice. But yeah, sorted. So like I say, that's for getting, if you want to change this. And eventually I'll be showing you how to get to the actual LEDs, the dial cards, everything like that. But if you want to just get to your needles or anything like that, you know, or get the dust out of the back, wipe it down, replace it, whatever. There you go, sorted. So if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.